Hey friends, hey, welcome back. This is Cheryl, Mama P with Mama P's Crafty Creations here today as part of our monthly junk journal jamboree. I'm so excited you're here. Come on in, have a seat at the table and let's, let's craft. Let's craft. I'm gonna be working in this junk journal and you do whatever you wanna do and uh, grab a cup of coffee or a soda out of the fridge and let's have some nice time together. Um, Grace is finishing up. She's making a really beautiful cover for her book. Hi, Kendra, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Cheryl, good to see you, good to see you. Um, it's been a fun day already in the Jamboree. Hey, Angela, I am presenter number four today. Hey, Missy, and uh, everyone, as always, has done something new and different, hey Carol Ann, with the exact same materials. Now that is the whole premise of the Junk Journal Jamboree. Each creator in the event is given a complimentary set of digital papers, and then we all do our thing with them. Um, so you have seen um, Cindy, first off today, made a beautiful little treasure box with hers and that was awesome. And Shauna was after her and Shauna took hers and <laughs> she did some cutting I will never be able to do and made a beautiful cover out of a Splenda box. And Grace has been working on a beautiful padded cover um, for a journal for her book. And now it's my turn. And up after me is my dear, dear friend, Michelle at the Vintage Daisy and you're not gonna wanna miss whatever she makes. It's always fabulous. So it's kind of an interesting thing because there are eight of us, right? And we chat a little bit, but we never talk about what we're doing in the Jamboree. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Hi, guys. Hey, come on in. Um, and so for me to be the middle of the event, you always wonder, oh, goodness, am I going to do the same thing that somebody else has just done or how is it going to work out? And today I'm excited because I didn't know what anybody else was doing. I have already assembled my book. <laughs> this is um, my um, journal from this digital kit. And we are going to work on all of the extras. We're going to decorate the cover. That's going to be last. And we are going to put all of the ephemera pieces, hey guys, inside our pages, but I have already done the construction. So that is exciting to me that we're going to take it maybe to the next step here together. So let me tell you what I've done. Um, if you hang around at my place, you know that I have been, um, I was able to locate a bunch of old hymnals. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Oh my gosh. Hey guys. Hey, hey, come on in. And I took one of those hymnal covers. I chose the red one because that's the one I have the most of. And this one was completely broken. The front cover was completely separated from it. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's on replay. It smells pretty good in here now. <laughs> um, and this particular cover, hey, Miss Chris Hunter, held this uh, spiral bound copy of the hymnal. And... Uh, so it had gotten a lot of use because it sat on the piano. And so this one got used and abused until literally the cover had fallen off of it. And so I repaired it and put it together. My grandbaby's laying in the floor. If you all are not familiar, I babysit my granddaughter. You can see her little feet wiggling. And if you hear old McDonald had a farm, that's where it's coming from. <laughs> and she's had a nap and she's had a diaper and she's not sure she's happy about it. So uh, we may craft with her in my lap before this is over. Hey, Debbie, hello, hello. So I repaired the hymnal cover because it's a perfect size for the pages. Now I am gonna tell you and everybody, if you have watched them, hey, Grace showed you exactly what we were given, which was eight double pages and one set of um, little tabs and labels. Um, I'm gonna tell you that I went back to the same designer because I think the prints are beautiful and I bought more. I bought more sets of pages and some other pieces. So mine is an expanded version of what everybody else has done because I went back to the designer and purchased it myself. Didn't even use the discount code. And um, 
So let me show you what I've got. I have two signatures. I covered my repair job on the spine with this white lace, and then I used this pink lace to tie in my sets of pages, my signatures, okay? Because, you know, this, this kit cries lace. I just poked holes in the front cover and the back cover of the book and knotted in a piece of lace for my closure because I have a plan for the cover. And then this is the inside of my book. And I did my signature style of journaling pages. I printed them one-sided. I use um, vintage office paper whenever I have it. Did you buy more too? Jimmy Lou, I did. And I think her shop is gigantic. You could buy a lot there. Um, I print single-sided and then I sew on my sewing machine, my regular old sewing machine, two pages together. Hey, Miss Carol, how are you? And so all of my pages open either on the side or on the top. And I then put a tag inside every page, okay? So my journals always, when I make them in this way, hey Sandy, they always have a lot of journaling space because each card could be pulled out and used for writing, okay? And then um, you guys know if you hang around with me, I also am the purveyor of much lace. <laughs> so I gathered a bunch of my thin colored lace and added it everywhere so my pages are topped or edged each with their own lace. Some of the papers that I purchased were narrower. So this was a full width, this one printed narrower, so we just made smaller pages. And this one has the tag that comes out of the top, okay? And then it just goes, it just goes. I added one sheet of music paper to each signature just because I needed one more bigger piece. <laughs> and I had turned off the printer for the day. So yes, I could have printed more. No, I didn't print any more. So I added a piece of old music. Other than that, it's totally printables from the kit in the pages, okay? So every page has its tabs, either on the top or on the side. And each of those then houses a plain um, piece of ivory colored, um, cardstock that could be used for journaling. Okay. So that's what we have. And it, and it's, <clears throat> it's that big. <laughs> there you go. It's that big. Um, it has two signatures. I think each signature has about 10 or 11 pages. And then every page, I just loaded it with lace. I loved that this kit, um, allowed for that. <laughs> and you know, that's exciting to me, um, to get to use that. So that's what we have there. And then in addition, there is all of the little, this is not all, but you guys have seen it um, in the kits, the little tag sheets. I don't, usually I'm super loud, so I'm going to turn my volume up. I have been having issues on Facebook. A signature is just a set of pages that we put in. Um, so this one has two sets, let me show you like this, two sets of pages. One set, two sets. <laughs> They're bundled together and sewn in, and that is a signature. One set of pages is a signature. I don't know why they call it that. They didn't ask me when they named it. Um, so I also printed off then a lot of little cards. Oh, good, Sue, I'm glad. Okay on your phone? Good. Um, I took some of the little printables and I paired them with some of my vintage playing cards that I thought coordinated with them. So, and I just put these together. I didn't do anything to them. Um, hey, Michelle. And then this would give you a little bit of journaling space. Thank you, Carrie. I like this shirt. It creeps though. Do you guys have clothes like that? Like I get it on and I get it in place and the next thing I know it's not where I left it. <laughs> so I made four, just paired up vintage playing cards with a piece of the principal because I just loved how the colors kind of coordinated and I thought that would be a fun fun thing uh, and then I'm going to show you all the stuff and then we got to figure out how we're going to put it all in here because <laughs> I had a lot of fun making it some of the principles they came like this so like this is a whole sheet that had just the eight panels and I folded it. This one is a pocket that I sewed three sides on, okay? 
This is half of it that I folded in half, and then this is another piece in here, all of which I just sewed on my sewing machine. If you're gonna sit down and sew on the sewing machine, you might, oh, you got it, oh, good. Um, you might as well make your time count, right? Um, I printed not from this same place, but I had bought a digital set of old photos a long time ago, and I've selected this photo as our couple of the book. I look at her, at her flowers. And so I think this is going to be our story um, of this being a wedding memory book because I love her how her flowers kind of go with our theme. So that's here. There were so many little pieces that I am not, I'm not an ephemera junkie. A lot of people love all the goody goody extras to go in a book. Mama P would rather put together a cover and put pages in it any day of the week. But I had so much fun with this kit and all of its little pieces. So I made several little hidden paper clips so that we can add these things to the book. So it's just a piece of plain paper folded over a paper clip. Hey, Anne, how are you? And then decorated just a little bit and we can add to it or we may cut it off. I don't know yet. So I made several of these. These are all little paper clips from California. Mm, sounds lovely. Okay. So, um, there are so many elements available through this designer, um, that really you can just go and go and go. Um, I would highly recommend you shop with the code though, <laughs> because you're going to want a lot of things. Um, a couple of the panels I just made little bitty booklets out of because I thought they would be fun tucked in there, that if this was a wedding memory book, as we are pretending it is today, then you would have little bits. I was going through that huge box of ephemera that I got um, yesterday, and uh, I, that was my favorite part, were the little handwritten poems and stuff that were collected through there. And then we just have a couple of more little, just little pieces, and I inked and I just sewed them because um, once I got started with that, I really kind of liked the style. Okay. And you might say, hey, Mama P, with all that preparation, do you know what you're going to put where? And I'd have to say, nope, <laughs> I don't have any idea. I haven't planned it out. So we're just going to kind of go page by page and see what we see. I got to say, I love this particular piece. I think this is the piece that Shauna... Um, no, you didn't cut this one out. The one she cut out was even harder. Um, I love this. I wish that I had a photograph. You know, did you just hear me say I wish I had a photograph? <laughs> I wish I had a photograph on my table right here in hand's reach that fit right in here because that might be the perfect thing. But we have so many little lovely pieces that I think I really love the idea of attaching this in a way that it could flip or open um, to something else. Hmm. Hmm, she says. So, I, <laughs> I have stuff everywhere because I'm creating today, and isn't that how it works, right? That you have everything piled up around you, and then the one thing you want to put in your hands, you can't always find it. So, I think we'll take... They're just lovely little pieces and bits here that I did not use. And we can take one of these and make a hinge. And uh, no, I don't think they will. And I really want to put them on the front cover. Um, this particular photograph is fairly large. Um, it's, we would lose all of our, our artsy stuff. So... I'm just gonna take my pretty piece of paper and I'm gonna fold it in half. I love that rose. Look at that beautiful little rose. And we're just gonna fold it in half, just like that in a V, okay? And we're just making the simplest hinge piece that we can imagine. And I'm gonna glue it to the back of my card here at the top, and then we're just gonna glue this. Yes, some of them are really, really small, like postage stamp size. And I don't, mm, yeah. There's little bitty ones on there. And you notice that they're still on there. Mama P is not very uh, patient with that kind of thing. Yeah, Miss Adeline is here on the floor. She's She was enjoying our cooking time together when I was on a little bit earlier today so well. And we finished 
and she had a good bottle and she took a great nap. And then um, now she's just not so sure she's thrilled about the whole setup. So I had her on the table in her little seat, but she wasn't really enjoying that. So I put her down on the floor with her toy and we're gonna hope we get through this. Otherwise, we can sit and talk to Adeline because crafting will come to a screeching halt. <laughs> okay, so now that I have that, I just wanna place it correctly on my page and I'm just gonna glue that little hinge down right there. We still can see the beautiful rose underneath it when we open it, which I really like. I like that. <laughs> she usually is pretty happy just to watch, especially because I talk all the time when I'm on live, but she's a little bit stoic this afternoon. She's just not so sure she's wild about it. Okay, so I love that. So now when we open up just the front cover page of our book, I'm not putting anything in here. Um, then we have this cute little flip up place on our card. And then remember each page carries a journaling card inside of each page, okay? And one page of these printables is just as beautiful as the last one. So it is really hard to choose how you want to, how you want to decorate it and how much do you want to decorate it because it's just as pretty as it is, I think. I think it's very pretty. Um, so um, I did put lace on the edge of this one. So this one is not screaming for one of my paper clips. I should have made paper clips going up and down that we could have tucked in there, but I didn't. <laughs> I could though, right? I could, we're all here. If you could find my paper clips, there we go. Hey Mary, how is your day going my friends? All right, so to make one of the hidden paper clips, I don't, I'm not fancy about it one bit at all. You just take any piece of paper that you have, right, to cover the paper clip. So in this case, we want this piece of my paper clip to show, but this one to be hidden. So I can just fold this little piece of paper over it. She's eating her bib. <laughs> and Okay, choking on it. So I'm gonna do that. You notice that too, Sue? What'd you notice? So I'm just gonna fold that up on itself, right? I can slide my paper clip up a little hair and then we can put a little piece of our lace on the top, okay? And then once that's together, I can take any piece of my beautiful stuff and just stick it to the paper that we have here, right? And then you see the paper clip on the back, but that doesn't bother me. She is not quite rolling over yet. Um, she rolls up on her side, but the girl hates to be on her tummy. And so if she offends herself by doing that, she comes right back over on her back because she not a whole fan. Okay, so there is my little paper clip cover, right? Just holding my little thing on. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of, let's see what color lace do we have here? Mm. Let's go with this purple then. And I've gone to the point where, yes, Carol, my goodness, is she teething. She doesn't have any teeth poked through yet, but she is drooling by the gallon. <laughs> and she does her tongue all the time. You know how teething babies work their tongue over their gums? Yeah. So I'm just gonna slip this little bit of lace right through. Thank you, I have tons of this lace, Sherry. Um, I bought out a whole store full of um, new old stock of lace. <laughs> yes, Adeline pulls her toes up. She has not yet stuck them in her mouth. She always has socks on. Her mom and daddy have always got that. <laughs> got her in socks. Okay, so now we hid, we just hid our little paper clip behind here and we've just clipped it. Hey, Kale. How are you, Gail? Um, right up here. And then we could take um, anything that was that we liked and use it as a tuck spot. So I had a couple of other photographs that I printed out and didn't use. And now it's still a functional paper clip. So we can slip a photograph or a piece of paper. I, yeah, my daughter said, how long is this supposed to take? And I said, oh, sometimes it can take months and months to get the first teeth so we can just clip that photograph in there 
or anything else that excites us, we can do it. Oh my gosh, I am, I am got to get working on my swap. I am sorely behind. This is a, um, on the page here, it's printed with some cooking instructions. For every day, the everyday cookbook, preserved pears and preserved peaches. I think Jimmy Lou did peaches a few weeks ago, didn't you, Jimmy Lou? I, maybe that one's for you. Tell it. She's like, you're boring, baby. Her little toys are boring. So this one is open at the top. I left it open, and that way I, I'm just going to slip a paper clip down in it, and it's going to hide itself. And we won't add any lace to this. There is enough going on on that page already. And all of these elements, most of what we will put in today, everything is movable. I like that. I like for you to get to have a choice of where you might want to put things. And I debated tying this particular lace or leaving it hang, and now I don't, I don't know that I like it hanging. But I'm not sure I'm going to get it to stay tight either, so I guess it's going to stay right there where it's at. Okay, so this is just a little double-sided piece that I sewed. We have, this is really a lovely one because it is got the bright flowers and on this pale pink page, that may be just, just the ticket. She loves the dogs. Um, her, my daughter and son-in-law have two big dogs as well and a cat. So she is not at all concerned about my dogs and my dogs they're such nannies that they just want to lay by her all the time um we have a big dog who is not always <laughs> she's not always the gentlest her name is nala um and uh get it um but if i leave miss adeline on like my bed all tucked in you know and i leave the room real quick i will come back in and Nala will not have been near her until I leave. And then I will come in and Nala will be laying just where um, Miss Adeline couldn't roll off the bed. She is, she is protecting her. I'm gonna take this little two double pocket and I'm just gonna, mm, I hate to glue it down cause it's so pretty on both sides, but we have to get past that cause we all lost up. Um, and I think we'll just glue it down here on this page. Cause I'm liking that. I like it there too though. I think I'm leaning more to the music. <laughs> so here we go. I guess we could pick the side. No, I like that one better. Woo, woo. Have a little baby talk, y'all. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to glue all over that, and we're just going to mount it right in the middle of that music page. I trimmed off a lot of my sewing strings, but obviously not all of them. So, here we go. Eh. Let's take one of our playing cards. And my thought was with these, I love these because you can just tuck them in either direction. So this little pocket up here, we can just slide either the card or the principal down in the pocket, whichever side we like best. And then... <laughs> We have a pretty hanging out. Get it? Yeah, you gotta get it. And so I love these kind of um, double-sided elements because you can tuck them in and you get something pretty both ways. Now this is our, our center of the book. So we want something a little extra special in here, I think. I don't know, what do we want in here? I got stuff everywhere. Maybe maybe let's take this strip of the beautiful graphics oh i saw it but it got away the signature together instead of glue did you sew i did not sew the pages of my signatures together i sewed them into the book though and I, oh yeah i sewed the two one-sided pages together with my sewing machine so every page of the book is sewn on my sewing machine either down the edges um, if we did them that way it it sounds like a terrible amount of work and it's really not once you sit down and get the machine going it doesn't really take very long okay 
I'm thinking we'll do tucks. These are cardstock weights. Oh, hi, Jamie, you're not late. Hi. I think we will mount one on each side with glue and use it as a place to tuck things in. So we're just gonna glue up one side on each one and we're gonna mount it close to the edge. And we're gonna smush it really hard so it stays there, we hope. And then the other side. There we go. Kind of line them up, eyeball line them up. I'm not getting my ruler out. I am not. And then with this beautiful pink um, lace that we had here, I really loved this white um, delicate lace from my collection. And if, if we're thinking that this might be a bridal style book, I thought it would be fun to come in with some white lace and just add it in there and I'm just tying it through the lace that's already there okay so I just took where where my signature string in this case which is lace comes through and I just I'm just tying another piece of the white lace to it now we could use um, some lace right here on the edge because um, we have the sewn edge here but I think we're good of course we're good right we're good we're good at a line. So then we can just take a little piece of our principal kit and we can just tuck it under here. These remind me of the Victorian calling cards. Do you guys ever have those in your collection? I've had several in my collection at different times and uh, I missed ink in that one little spot. What's well, ink? Cause you know, nothing's more exciting than watching ink dry. But I inked every other piece so we can't leave this one. There we go, that's a little better. So we'll just tuck that in there. Yeah, and then maybe we'll just do a couple of little ones on this other side, just in there in our little tuck. So that gives the center of our book a, a pretty appearance, I think. Yeah, I. this is just a book. This is a hymnal. This is one of my red hymnals that we had in the sale and I had to repair it, but you wouldn't have to. This is the spine that was on the book. So I just took the book as it existed and I poked holes in it. I used my giant Krampus chomper thingy, you know, um, but you could use an awl or whatever and then sewed through and covered it with lace. Um, this is just a book. It's just a regular old book. And using a, a book that already exists is one of my favorite things <laughs> in journaling. I just really enjoy that. Okay, on this side of the music, let's stick one of our little hidden clips. And like I said, this gives you another option to add more underneath. But for now, let's just see, let's see how far our collection. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy the baby chatter. Um, I certainly do, but I, I don't ever want it to, uh, you know, I hope it doesn't bother anybody. But it is what it is. She's mine and I'm keeping her. So she's gonna be here as long as I'm here, right? Right, Miss Adeline? I loved all the little numbered tags and several of them had little bluebirds and I, I love a bluebird. So I think we will do, you know, Grace was just talking about that you could use these, hello, um, as like a little page turning tab. And I think we're, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna put glue on a section of this yeah are you talking to the animals and we're just gonna leave this side <laughs> hi 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 she says and so we're just gonna leave this tab hanging off the side here so this still comes in and out this is our journaling card and this we're just going to um, leave hanging off we could put one on the back side too if we didn't have uh, the envelope structure but we do, <laughs> we do. So we could take another one if you wanted to have it cover and you could do one on the back side. It doesn't bother me um, to have the back of it showing, okay? What? What, tell it to go. Say go, animals, go. Say sing to me, silly. Okay, now we have I wanna get, let's see, where are we getting? We're almost to the back of our first signature. We're almost halfway through the book. 
And I think we may be well more than halfway through the pieces that I have all prepped up. So let's look at doing something a little different. I think, oh my, tell it. <gasps> She's so silly. Let's take this printable card here and let's tuck it in this one this way. And all these are leaving more tails more ribbons, more lace. Well, I'm glad you like babies because you're going to get an earful of this one. She's talking. And I'm going to leave this one. We may, let's find one of our little labels here. This one says vintage. <laughs> that applies to me and the journal style. And let's put a little glue on it and let's just decorate the little corner of the journal spot with it. She is talking up a storm, Chris. <laughs> oh, three days a week. Mm. I have her three days a week. Um, her other uh, grandparents watch her Mondays and Fridays, but Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, she mine. <laughs> she mine, and I'm happy about that. I absolutely love having her, of course. How could you feel any other way? I don't know. Okay, so again, I love this page. I love this background. I'm not feeling super strong about adding anything to it. So I think I won't yet um, because we may change our minds and want something, but I know I do want something here and I wanna figure out, oh, this is great because this one opens on the side. So this will allow us to use one of our hidden paper clips. So let's put that inside the side here. And then we will attach it, I think. Let's just see if we can slide that. Yeah, and we can slide this little booklet then right under that. And I, I like that. I think that'll work, and I think it will hold. Yeah, what's the matter with it? Is it not listening to you? That toy is not listening to her. No. She's saying sing toy, and that toy is going, mm -mm, I don't sing for you, kid. Okay, so this big space here in between my two signatures. I always wanna put something there, but I don't wanna put anything else here. So I think today it just stays. I think it just stays. Okay, so we have a spot here. Here's our main photograph. Let's see. I wish I could get you an angle where you could see this whole table. You would have so much fun. And then you would be like pointing, going, Mama P, get that one, get that one. And I could use the help, frankly. So I would take it. I, I don't know. I think I do though. Let's put, this is just such a little writing spot. Let's decorate it just a little bit. We have so many beautiful little pieces. Let's take this one. And then let's find one of the little shapes. So like there's ovals. Hi, Shauna, how are you? And there's circles. So let's just take one of the ovals and one of the squares and let's just decorate just, just little bits, just little bits. This kit doesn't need a ton because it's already, um, it's already beautiful. <laughs> she will be a great storyteller and a pretty decent cook and crafter. I mean, she is all about hanging out with me in the kitchen and she cracks me up. Yesterday, I gave her a little bitty whisk while she was sitting in her seat and uh, she was whipping it up while I was cooking. All right, I'm just gonna take this. I wasn't gonna do anything on this front cover of the second page because it's so beautiful. It's so full all by itself, but I love this. It just says calm and I'm just gonna put it up here, right there on that edge. <laughs> She's really not fussing. Sounds like she's really upset, but I don't think she is. I think she's just kind of talking it up, okay? This is beautiful with this, so I think we will, yep, we're just gonna put it in there. I'm not gonna make it, do we wanna make it a flip? No, we're just gonna put it on there and let it be. Just let it be. All right, so we're just gonna mount this up here. We could do a little um, extra lace or bow in the center, but honestly, we're, we're gonna have a pretty full book by the time we get through. So 
I think we'll do it in stages and see how that goes, right? Because you just don't know what you don't know. That one is, that's one of my very favorites. I love a nice, full, beautiful rose. Let's see, this one would need a little top clip, but we can do that. So let's grab another one of our paper clips and let me just find a piece of our paper that we're not going to need and our scissors. And let's just make a little, another little top hidden clip. So I'm just slipping the paper onto my paper clip and then I'm just folding the paper back up over the top of the paper clip. This one doesn't cover all the way, but that's all right because we're gonna put something decorative over it. So it will be just fine. Then you just glue that together and it can go all over your paper clip. It doesn't matter. And it just holds that piece of paper on your clip. And then we can take this beautiful piece here. And I wanna put this little oval piece kind of on top. So it'll look kind of like this. And then if, if you get a, like this is probably gonna have a little corner hanging out, um, but you know, we can fix that. <laughs> I have scissors, I'm not afraid to use them. We can just plumb fix it. Right, Adeline, can we fix it? So yes, we can. Yeah. If everything goes crazy, Adeline will fix it. We'll just have to call the kid in. And then I think we'll put it just off to the side, just a little bit like that. Just a little bit right in the corner. Okay. And then we have just a sweet little cupboard that'll clip in here at the top. Since I sat here and made all the other ones go to the side. <laughs> Hi, Cindy, how are you? All right, we're just turning the page. We're just gonna keep it going. Um, let's see, this one opens up here. I absolutely love this playing card. Um, they have the ladies' initials on them. So I think we could make these initials work for our couple, whatever we wanna name them, we can do that. <laughs> so we're just gonna tuck that one into this envelope page and then we are good. I love, 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 love this plaid. Well, Adeline, I do. I love it. You don't love it. She's not loving it right now. I think we'll take just this beautiful little piece right here and we're just gonna put it down here in the corner just to give a little decoration. Okay. Yeah, do you need it to go again? Oh, you want it to sing? Okay, love this. I love the way she used some like book page um, in the creation of the graphics. I think they're so, so pretty. I just really do love those. All right, so we're just gonna, whoa! <laughs> we're just gonna use that and use another one of our clips. And then, yeah. Sounds like she's trying to get her engine started, doesn't it? I pulled out a couple more vintage playing cards here that we could use as a tuck spot. They're, they're a little more colorful <laughs> than some of the others, but I liked this one and I thought it would be really pretty. It is, it is gonna be quite, uh, quite chubby, yes. And I'm gonna glue this one as a pocket, just no, as a tuck, a two-sided. So I'm gonna glue it down the side and across the bottom. And I'm gonna stick a paper clip on it because the playing card is gonna take a little extra minute to dry onto the page and we want it to be all dried. So that'll let me keep working and I don't have to babysit it. Ha ha, babysit. All right. And then probably what we'll do is we'll tuck this other little notebook. So I just took two little frames from this particular page that I purchased from the designer and I just cut some little white papers. I didn't do anything to the inside other than that. But it will make a cute little thing to tuck in there once that's dry. So I'll just, I'm gonna leave it here so I don't forget. <laughs> she wants to roll, but then she gets mad if she does. So it's kind of a tough call there. Okay, so this was a full sheet of the eight 
panels. And I think we're just going to take it on this music page right here. And I'm just going to use a plain paper clip. Well, not plain for long. I think we'll put a bit. Shall we put? Yeah, because there's no lace on that music paper. So let's grab a piece of this purple lace. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> do, do you approve or not? Uh -huh. So I'm just going to tie it right on to the top and I'm just going to clip and this is also, wow, two-sided so it's a pocket. So we'll clip this to the music page on this side just to hold it there and then we can decide if we want to slide something down in there. And I have more of the, the journaling cards. I just cut several. And it would, I believe, it would fit in there. So let me just slide it off there so I can put the card in there. We'll see if I can sew a straight line. Hey. Shh, shh, shh. Hey. All else fails. Try the pacifier. Yeah, Kathleen, I can do a whole lot of things with a baby in my lap. I mean, I've had a bazillion children, but I'm not sure I can do this. So we'll have to try to stretch her out as long as we can. Because once she's up here, we're to flip through. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to clip this onto this page, which I can't see. Should have turned it around. There we go. And then we've attached that. It has a journaling card inside and tucked it right in there. She's happy now for at least a little bit. This is for my cover. This is a paper clip. We have some more of the playing cards. I love this little playing card was just perfect. It's just pink rosebuds, but I think we're gonna slide that card in there and just put it right here. And then we're back to the center. And I really liked how we did the other one, but I don't know that I saved enough bigger printable pieces to do that again. So I'll have to think a little harder this time. <laughs> how, how imaginary are we gonna be? I don't know. All right, let's take this. And these clips I started, but I didn't finish because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with them. So they have the tab, but they didn't have anything down here because I wanted to know what we wanted to put on there. So let's add this. Oops. That will be an unremovable paper clip if I leave that clue there. Yeah, and that won't be good. No. All right, put that there. And then we have, we still have more of these beautiful little labels and pieces. And let's get, I told you I love the little bluebird ones. So we have this beautiful, sweet little circular. I did not cover the back of the playing cards. Nope, I just sewed them together. I just took a, a playing card and a piece of the printable and I ran a ribbon through them. That's all I did. All right, so we have several little bits here and let's just put a couple of them down. We've got, this one says enjoy and it has a pink rose. So let's try these two. And we'll just tuck just a little bit. I like that. I like that. And then we're gonna just glue this other one down. And we'll just tuck it under the edge before that other one dries. There we go. Just a little something. And we are now three quarters of the way through. All right, I got another piece of this bridal lace. And I think like we did to the other one, let's just tie a little piece here and we'll just have it there in the book, just like that. This book is gonna have stuff flinging out of it every which way. <laughs> every which way, I'm telling you. <clears throat> All right, so what have we got here? We have got a bunch of little bits here. 
And I have one more paper clip, so let's see where this goes. This is gonna go right here, because it's a nice side pocket. Sure it is, as soon as I get a hold of it. Hi, Kathy, how's your day going? How is your day going? All right, and we will clip these last little pieces here. We have used a lot, way a lot for Mama P, who never seems to get to this part of a book. <laughs> we are flinging it everywhere, aren't we? All right, look at the beautiful, can you tell? I don't know if you can. It has the most beautiful pastel blue, mint green vibe on this particular piece. And I just think it's beautiful. I really do. Okay, so I'm going to trim this off a little bit. And then we're going to put this little blue edged piece right on there. <laughs> yeah, we are. Hey, let's see, what have we got? Then I get close to the back and I'm like, okay, we gotta go backwards and figure this thing out. I did not clean off my desk, you just can't see it. This is my dining room table and I'm on the only clean corner. Um, yeah, if, if you wanna private message me, I'll send you a photo, it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but it is the way of my life, so. All right, so we have this beautiful pink rose down here at the bottom of this page. So I think we'll just come catty corner across and I think I'm just gonna put this piece down right up here in the corner just as a little something something just a little something something there we go I'm gonna turn on my hot glue tool and we are gonna risk life and limb and use heated glue on the cover I usually don't do that because my glue gun tries to kill me uh, but today we're gonna okay so, let's see, we have this beautiful piece. Oh, I love that. And then we have, this is great because this little graphic has real fine pink lines on it. I think you can see that. And this is like ticking, this one is. Um, and I like it here. I don't know why I'm liking the words so much over there, but I am, so they stay. They stay, Adeline, the words stay. Yep, yep. All right, and then we're just gonna put this on there. I keep looking at my table to make sure I got all my goodies. I think I did. You guys should be so proud of me because I never make that much stuff. I mean, really. All right. And so on this little corner, we just have that cute little decoration. Look at all the lace and stuff coming out of this book. Kind of looks like a hairy mess, but I like it. I like a hairy mess. Okay, I still have this beautiful little bluebird circle, and I and there's two of them. They're different. There's this one, and there's this one, and I cannot leave them. I can't. I cannot. And this would be a top paper clip, so I'm wondering about making a two-sided, just a paper clip cover like this. So... I had a little scrap here. It does not take very much to just cover a little bit of that paper clip so we have something to glue to mainly. That one may be too little. I may have overestimated. Okay, so we'll go this way. I'm gonna slide my paper just like this this time and I'm gonna fold it this way, right? And I'm only making something to glue to. That's all I'm really after, okay? So I'm just folding a little piece of paper inside my paper clip so that I can glue stuff to it. And I'm gonna just glue it all the way across paper clip and everything. And then I'm gonna glue this side and stick one of the little blue birds on it. Decide which way I want him to fly. <laughs> it might become important eventually, right? So then we have this side covered. And then I'm just gonna glue just a few little dots at the top this time so that I can cover the other side as well and still use my paper clip. I won't have glued it completely shut. Whoa, really? Are you sure? She's pretty sure. Let's see if I can wiggle that in there. Not today. Nope, not today. Go, because I want to. It says you can't do it. All right, Miss Adeline's gonna have to help us do the cover. 
and that's the hot part. So she can't help us do that cover. All right, I can't get that to stick in there without using all of my brain power and both of my eyes. So I'm gonna leave that for now. And let's just put number 1854. That could have been the year of this photograph, right? So maybe this is the year. Mm, I kind of like it over here. Okay, it's going in here. And then we're ready to switch over to our cover. And our timing's gonna be just about right, I think. I think, I think, if Miss, if Miss Adeline cooperates, we're gonna get it. We're gonna, out of all of that stuff, this is the two little bits <laughs> that I have left. So this is one loaded up book here, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and tie my two laces together here just to hold the cover down while we work on it. And I've made a couple of pieces. She is about done. You're absolutely right. And uh, she didn't, I, she did great in the kitchen, but that's about her limit. About one live a day is what Granny's gonna get. Okay, so there is our book. There's the top, the side, the bottom. This is our closure side with all of the ribbons hanging out. And now we're ready to work on the front. All right, I love that, but that's a little much. Even for me, that's a little much. Okay, so I saved this photograph to be our couple of our book. And what I would like to do is I wanna put it here-ish. And then I took a couple of little pieces of the kit and I made a little cluster. And I attached a vintage locket, which was laying just right a little bit ago, here. And then the other little piece is a vintage, um, pin. Thank you, Carol. That's a key. And it says love. And that's what we're going to use to cover where it says the hymn book. Because <laughs> you got to cover that. And I think it'll lay okay. I'm happy enough with that. But the hot glue is not sitting right on the thing, so it's not hot yet. Let's see if we can get it happier. Or not. Nobody touch it. All right, so let's go ahead. And then I have some um, paper flowers that I thought we would add. Um, just some pretty little floral bits, okay? So I was trying to decide, I thought that just a little bit of lace that peeked out from the corner of the photograph might be really pretty, like just a little bit of the lace maybe from her dress. That was my thought. So let's see, let me grab just a little bit a Fabri-Tac to put the lace down. Oh, Dana, I'm so glad you caught me too. So let's just put a little bit of this to get this lace attached. And we're just gonna kind of lay it on there. And then let's take our beautiful photograph. Remember that Miss Michelle, the vintage Daisy, is coming up here in just a very few minutes, about 10 minutes. She will be with you over there. I know we all appreciate you spending your day with the Junk Journal Jamboree. What could be any more fun than a whole day of paper crafting? <laughs> Me too, Dana. I've always loved lace. Even before I owned 80 miles of it, I still loved it. Okay, so there's, there's, whoops. There's just the touch of lace coming off the edge of the photograph. And there is, um, there is our photograph of our couple. We could name them if we wanted to. We'd have to match the initials on that playing card, but we could do that. We could so do that. And we gotta wait just a minute for the heated glue to do its thing. Yeah, I know, Adeline, I'm so sorry. Grammy is slow. She is slow. So when we get our hot glue, this is gonna go right here to cover that hymn book. And then I have I have this flower and I have, I have this greenery. I loved that. And I thought we could use it. And then in here, or maybe this one is better. We have this big flower and two little rosebuds. Is that, I don't know, it's a lot, but I like it. You know, sometimes you have a lot and you're not sure you like it. And then sometimes you have a lot and you like it. And this one is a lot and I like it. So I don't know. It's probably going to just be, right? Let's see. I 
can get the wire nippers to nip the wires. That would be nice. That would be, do you love it, Dana? Thank you. I do too. Adeline's not wild about it. She's not wild about it at all, as a matter of fact. Oh no. My little Ryobi glue thing that I'm using, it's gotten to where it doesn't click down into the battery base right. If I were guessing, I would say I probably spilled something on it. She needs some cheesecake. I may need some cheesecake. She keeps fussing. May wear us all out. I like it this way. All right, let's see if we can squirt out enough glue to get these down and I'll hurry up and put it right back on the thing because I really wanted to have it together for you. So we're gonna press that down real good. And then we're gonna do a little bit, just a little bit on the corner here with this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her, she scooted way over here. She's so close to being mobile. And then I'm gonna have to take two weeks off of, of lives to uh, clean up <laughs> my house. Cause there is nothing here baby ready for a moving baby. Okay, we got two more little flowers. Oh no, and now my glue stick's gonna run out. Well, there you go. There's that one. And I'm gonna put the other one right over here, but I don't have a glue stick handy, I don't think. So you'll have to take my word for it that that one's gonna go right there. I'm gonna get another glue stick. And let's take a look at the cover and see. And then we'll do a quick flip through. I have glue hair all over me. All right, so here is our cover. We have our, I know I live in a really tiny house and it's, it's, there's nowhere to baby gate off a small baby proof area. So this is gonna be our cover. I will add this one last flower down here when we're done and I get another glue stick, which they're right there, but I can't reach them easy enough, okay? And then this is just an old hymnal cover from one of the 19, I don't know, 55, I think it was, hymnals that I got that other day. And we have two filled signatures now. Um, this one, remember, we put the flip in. Thank you. I really, this is my kind of style. We tucked an extra photograph in here underneath this clip. I did have one other photograph on the table and some of the hymnal page. We may tuck a piece of a hymnal um, in one of our little spots, okay? And we just did a little clip here. Everything has lace attachments. Every page has a pull-out journaling card in it. Um, we had our double-pocketed piece here. This comes out up here. This is one of our playing card pieces that we made just to go with it. They were card players. Our little double tuck spots on the center of that one. We had our little clip here. It's already music or I would rip out a hem and stick it in there. All right, and then we had our little tab here that we made just out of one of the little tabs, another one of our playing card pieces. This one, I just, I'm in love with this particular background paper. It doesn't need a thing. Then we had our little notebook piece here that tucks in here. I gotta attach it a little bit better, but I'll get that. Okay. We just decorated little bits up here is another one of our little clips. All right, here's one of our playing cards. Here is the playing card that we're gonna use as a tuck spot. As soon as that glue firms up, we'll stick that in there. We have our clip here. Um, it's kind of tickly. This was our pocket page that we clipped in. So this is a full-size pocket with a journaling page that we clipped to the music here. You can see the clip on the back there. Here is our other playing card piece. Here's another clip. Here's our other music page. Love this. This little tab on this page. Then we just finished our decorating here. And then this little back page, we stuck our little label down here. And then the back, we're just gonna leave solid except for the edging on there. I'm wondering, while y'all are here, I had a couple of things handy I thought we might use if we had time, and I couldn't imagine we would have time, but we had time. I, I have had several houses with wallpaper very similar to this, I really have. 
So I've got these sweet little label pages, um, you know, clearance dollar ninety nine, and I thought we would I would put one just on the inside back cover because it would be a pretty place to write um, a note in there. So we have bigger and we have smaller, but I'm going to lean toward the smaller because I think just a sweet note that might say, you know, what it was remembering for whoever has this book someday in the future. So let's put one of those in there, get it pushed down, and then get our ties put back together. It needs a grooming, pull all of those um, laces out of there. I do have a little hint for you today. I went to Hobby Lobby last night and all of their bakery stuff, like their uh, baked good supply things, are 40% off this week. And in there, they had all these beautiful labels. I think they're still sitting here, I'll show you. That you put on your baked goods, but they don't say baked. So, um, th these, look at these, handmade just for you. Isn't that a beautiful little label? And there were 28 in a package. It was $1.99 minus 40%. So, uh, you know, for $1.20, you could have um, beautiful handmade labels. I thought, I really, obviously I liked them. I bought some, along with several other items, of course. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Give Miss Michelle some time. Tell her Mama P says hi. She is my dearest. And, uh, and I will see you guys really soon. I'm going to stick that other flower on here, and I'll take a few photographs. But thank you. Thank you for hanging around with me um, and, in, and helping me use up one more hymnal cover. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks a lot. I will see you tomorrow probably. Bye.